Android is by far the most popular operating system, OS. With 2.5 billion active users across the globe, its origin dates back to 2008, with the arrival of Android 1.0 that didn't have a codename. After the Android 1.5 cupcake release, Google started giving dessert-based nicknames to every version, such as Android 1.6, Doma, Android 2.0 to 2.1, Eclair, Android 4.0, ice cream sandwich, Android 8, Oreo, etc. And in September 2020, Google launched a new OS known as Android 11. Today we will discuss what's new in this latest OS, compared to Android 10. All about Android 11 and its new features, one prioritizing conversations. In Android 11, communication and messaging apps are given priority. You can read and respond to messages from several apps quickly from the notifications shade. Two chat bubbles, with the new version, you can pin chats so that they appear on top at all times. This allows you to keep the conversation going in the form of bubbles and helps you multitask. To enable this feature, all you have to do is find the thread from the notifications and long press it. 3. Screen Recording Android 10 reviews were filled with demands for a built-in screen recording feature, and the new device loaded with Android 11 had the screen recording option as a stock tool. You can choose to record sound from only your device, mic, or both. You can access the option to record from the notifications tile to make the process much quicker. For one-time permissions, you now have the option to give app permissions to access device locations only once. This way, you don't have to give apps lifetime access to use phone state information, and they must ask for permission to use the information every time they are used. Find new API. Two new API are introduced to enhance the user experience. The first is the 5G state API, which gives an update regarding whether the user is available on a 5G network or not. The other is an API that reads data from the hinge angle sensor on foldable devices. 6. Check Refresh Rate The smartphone industry now has several devices with high refresh rates, and the new Android version allows users to check the screen refresh rate on demand. You can access the information under Developer Settings. 7. A new way to share files Android has come up with its own version of AirDrop, known as Nearby Share or Quick Share. It has the potential to work with multiple Android devices, Chromebooks, or any devices running the Chrome browser. For Google Pixel models, you can copy and share information such as text effortlessly, making communication and conveying details much easier than before. 8 Smart Replies and Keyboard Autofills on Pixel devices exclusively. The messaging app suggests quick replies concerning the conversation. The keyboard also keeps track of the information you enter and helps you quickly fill in forms with passwords or addresses. This option can be turned off and on based on your choice and is only available on the Google Messages app. 9 Camera Improvements With the 3P optimizations implemented by Android, your phone camera will work much better with apps like Snapchat. Developers can also use new API for muting phone vibrations from notifications or ringtones when the camera is in use. 10 Digital Wellbeing You can schedule when your phone switches to dark mode and use the new bedtime mode feature. It silences your device when it's time to rest and your screen switches to grayscale. You can also track screen time during the night and sleep to calm ambient sounds and use the sunrise alarm feature that gradually increases the brightness to start the day. All about Android 10. Android 10. Q made its first market appearance in mid-2019 and was released at the end of the year. Since then, introduced phones have the OS version pre-installed and are backed by plenty of features that can change the way you use your Android devices. Sound Amplifier One of the most noticeable changes in Android Q is the presence of a new hearing experience. Be it lectures, TV, or music, the presence of the sound amplifier allows you to boost the volume, turn down background noise, and fine-tune the audio to achieve a fully personalized hearing experience. Gesture Navigation Android 10 started allowing users to get rid of the navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen by using gestures to switch between applications. The simple gestures have made it easy to get around your phone without relying on buttons and compromising the screen size. Privacy Control Firstly, you can start adjusting all your privacy settings in one place, making it much more convenient to access app permissions, account activity, and personal data. Next, you can decide what data is to be stored on your device and for how long it's retained. Focus Mode This is yet another excellent, usable feature added to increase productivity. Focus Mode allows you to pause distracting apps and turn off notifications so that you can give your attention to what is important. Its highly customizable functionality enables you to decide the apps you want to mute and bypass. Comparison between Android 10 and Android 11 In Android 11, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings show permanently at the top of your screen for fast connections and easy management. This is not available in Android 10. You can choose to auto-connect or disconnect from a single network in Android 11. 
which is not possible in 10. You have the option to schedule dark mode to turn on at custom time, while Android 10 only allows you to turn dark mode on and off. Android 11 gives you several options to effectively manage your storage, while Android 10 only allows you to free up space from the settings tab. You can change the ringtone and notification volumes together, dismiss media sound control from the notification tray, and monitor external speakers from your phone itself with Android 11, while Android 10 lacks these capabilities. Overview With all the above, you should have surely understood that both Android 11 and 10 focus on making the usability of your device more streamlined. Indeed, they have a unique set of similarities and differences that you need to learn about to build an app that your target audience will love. So to get the best possible outcomes and develop future-ready applications, you can get aligned with our Android app development company and choose our higher Android app developer services. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.